swole benji here today i'm going to show you the ultimate musket glass cannon build that will let you three to four shot level 60 tanks in heavy armor anything else medium armor or light armor they're going to die in one to two hits and this build is absolutely dirty it's very brutal and it takes advantage of powder burn powder burn is going to absolutely melt people so let's get right into it this is an intelligence and dexterity based build so here's where you're going to put your stat points you're going to put all of them into intelligence all right now let's move on to well hold on <laughs> it's uh it's not working come on now <laughs> it worked earlier there we go to the uh uh, the perks, okay, so here's the leveling order. Let me zoom in. So first, you're going to pick, in Sharpshooter, this one. And what this does is whenever you shoot a target in the head three times, you get one shot for free without having to reload. Then you're going to come over here to Powder Burn and learn that. Then you're going to come over here to Shooter Stance and learn that. Afterwards, you're going to go over here to the Trapper Tree and pick up Trap. Then pick up this one on the right, which is Armor Shred. Then pick this one up down here, which is 10% haste when you dodge, which is how you're going to traverse around the world faster. And then finally, you're going to go down here and get this one. This one lets you instantly reload when you dodge. And when you dodge backwards, you will reload incredibly fast, allowing you to shoot twice. So now that you have your three abilities and you have two ways of auto-reloading without having to waste time, you are all set. After that... You can pick up, I like to pick up Shooter Stance 5 bullets, okay? Because Shooter Stance only lets you shoot 3 times, this one lets you shoot 5. You generally want to fill out the Sharpshooter tree. Pick, I like to pick this one so I can shoot at longer distances. I, I like to fill out Powder Burn so I do more damage. And you want to pick up Snipe ASAP. Once you get that, just come back over here to this side, pick up all the passives, and uh, you're all set, okay? You're going to be doing so much damage. So let's go to the next slide now. And this is the item and gearing. So... When you hit 60, and when you start crafting your in-game super massive PvP, you know, set, this is how it's going to work, okay? Now, I just want to tell you right now that the crafting is extremely low percent to hit all of these, and I may never make this. It is a very low percent chance, and the materials to get 600 gear score are quite rare and hard to get, but it is possible to craft this and be on the lookout in the market if someone makes this, Prepare to pay them the uh, coin cap to uh, afford it. But uh, here's the thing. You need 300 int, and you're going to put the rest in decks, and we're going to talk about that on the next page. So don't worry about that too much. But essentially, you're going to craft an ore calcum musket, or you could also find this. You could find this on many different muskets that might be 600 gear score with these perks, but I doubt it. Crafting is probably your way. And, and the percent chance is 8%. So you're, when you craft, you're going you're gonna to do a dice roll for 8%, then 2.63% which makes that insanely rare. And then another 2.3 or 2.63%, which means it's going to get astronomically rare. And then if you aren't using um, an item to put one of these perks on your weapon, then it's another 2.63% chance. So let's go, let, let's talk about the gem choice, which is the pristine onyx. Now what this is going to do is give you 30% additional damage against a target with full health. That is the highest possible damage that you can get in a single attack on a target from a gym. All right, so your perks are going to be enchanted, which just increases your damage by 9.5%. Pretty simple. Uh, next up is the headshot damage by 14%. And then finally, jagged, which is going to apply a bleed on the target. 7% weapon damage does not sound like a lot. It's for 10 seconds. And because we have max intelligence, one of the perks of intelligence is 30%. Uh, increased damage over time spells, but I don't know if that applies to bleed. I did not get to test this on the betas. If it doesn't, it's fine. It's this is just the most damage you can get rolled on a weapon. Okay, that's pretty much it. You don't have to worry about crit chance because headshots are always crits. All right, so that's why this is not a crit chance one. And now for your armor, which is going to apply to your helmet and your boots and your uh, gloves and all that kind of fun stuff, okay? You're going to get the 25 dex or 25 int, and I'm going to talk about that on the next page. For the gym, this is what I recommend. You don't have to use this if you don't want to, but the thing is, when you are a musketeer and you are shooting people from insanely lo long distances, the only people that can really fight back are other musketeers. So you want to put thrust ward in all of your armor, okay? 
Um, and then also down here, you're going to have thrust protection on your amulet, and that's going to basically reduce all bullets and arrows and spears and sword stabs and the dagger when it comes out and any other weapons that might be stabby weapons. All of those are going... It's the most common weapon attack in the game is thrust, by the way. Uh, also, um, you know, those annoying mobs that, like, stab you ten times? <laughs> this will really help against those, and th that's, like, the highest damage mob in the game, by the way. So, cut pristine emerald. That's what I recommend in your armor. 3.8% thrust damage absorption. It's really good. You're going you're gonna to be running around with, like, 33 or higher percent. I I'm too lazy to do the math right now. And... <laughs> So if you find another gunman, you're just going to be able to gun them down like it's Tarkov and you're in max armor. That's how it feels, okay? So on your armor, you're going to pick these three perks. Just one. You, these do not stack. You cannot stack these on every piece of armor because they will do nothing. So don't do that. Just make sure that you get these on your armor pieces, okay? Crippling Powder Burn. This is the big one because not only does this slow them by 23% for 5 seconds... This is considered a debuff, which will boost our damage with our passives. All right, accelerating traps. You don't really need this if you don't want to, but it's really cool. You throw down a trap, and then you dodge roll, and you will be running at 29% run speed, which the, nothing can outrun that except for Great Axe, okay? Um, and then finally, empowering shooter stance. When you shoot in shooter stance, which the way this works is you're going to load your musket with the, the powder burn, then you're going to enter shooter stance, and you're just going to go pow, 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 pow. And uh, the first hit will increase your damage by 22% for three seconds. You'll be able to empty your magazine or clip or whatever it's called. I'm not a gun nut. Um, in that three seconds. So those, you just need this on one piece of armor. The rest you can get. Um, I even say it right down here. Perks don't fill, don't stack. Um, just pick up all the 4.8% reductions in crowd control and crit damage, okay? Those don't really stack either. At least in my testing, they don't. Maybe they will when the game goes live. All right, so for your bags, you're going to use loyalty because you want more faction tokens because you're going to be fa faction farming a lot. You also want extra pockets so you can carry more stuff. And then finally, because the only thing that pe that's going to attack you in like wars and stuff, because you're going to be you're going to be fighting at a distance, you're going to be fighting at like max distance. Plentiful shells. So if someone shoots you, you might get some bullets back. I guess you just rip them out of your flesh, even though that's not how bullets work. I mean, I don't really understand that. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so for your amulet. You're going to pick up Purify. This is the big one. You absolutely want this one. So what Purify does on an amulet is it cleanses your debuffs when you reach 50% life. So if you're fighting this exact same build and, you, and someone powder shots you, you're going to be slow, you're going to be bleeding, and you're going to be burning. But if you drop below 50% life, all that goes away immediately. Also, you want health, so 9.4% max HP because more health means more survivability, okay? And then Thrust Protection, of course. Now for rings, you want Thrust Damage because... Bullets are a thrust weapon. Keen Awareness gives you 11% crit. You don't really need this if you're a headshot god. It helps for body shots. I personally can get headshots most of the time, so I don't... Like, there's not really a lot of good ring perks. You can pick something else if you want. And then Burning, which gives you 6.6% more burn length. Now, I know that sounds like crap, but it's really good. And the reason we want it is because what will happen is the Powder Burn, combined with our Intelligence perk of 30% longer dot duration, which does work with Powder Burn, by the way, will increase Powder Burn to 17.75 seconds. And Powder Burn's cooldown is 15 seconds. So we can keep burning someone indefinitely, which counts as a debuff, all right? Which increases our damage. And then finally for earrings, you want regeneration, which is this really, really good. Um, that's 0.48%, I forgot the percent sign. Uh, per second, so if you're just running around the world, you're going to be healing a bunch, especially with higher HP. Duplicating Toast, <laughs> which sounds funny. It kind of sounds like a, like a YouTuber. <laughs> Duplicating Toast here. It's 14% chance to not lose your potion. And th this is a huge money saver. Oh, man. When you're using Tier 5 potions that take forever to craft, that have thousands of, of coins, this thing is going to just pay for itself immediately. And then uh, focused, if you're using a mana offhand, which you are an intelligence build, so there's no reason not to, unless you're using the rapier. Uh, otherwise, get refreshing toast, which gives you a 20% cooldown reduction on potions. And you're going to be chugging potions like crazy if you have to be being shot at, or you just get zerked down or something. So it's really useful. All right, so that's it for the gear. Uh, on to the next slide, and this is just a whole bunch of text. I'm sorry, but here's the stat breakdown. 195 points into intelligence. 30 from the weapon, 25 from the chest, helmet, and gloves, 
It doesn't have to be from the chest helmet and gloves. It just needs to be from three pieces of armor. And that's going to give you 300 intelligence. So you can unlock the final perk of being able to fast travel at 10%. And um, uh, I, I forget the other one. Oh, 10% uh, damage to full HP targets. This used to be 30% in the closed beta. In the open beta, it became 10%. They nerfed it. It's, this is still really powerful. This is... This is, I, I know percent damage increases are calculated weird, but percent damage to full HP targets is calculated even weirder. It's, it's way more powerful than it sounds, and it's worth 300 points. Trust me on this. It's worth more than going 300 into decks. I'm, I'm serious. And then finally, the decks. You get five from your base stat, then you're going to get 25 from pants, shoes, amulet, earring, ring. And then here's the secret, okay? Because that would only put you at 130 decks. You're going to eat honeyed melon to get 20 more decks, which will bring you up to 150 decks. So you get the crit chance, which we don't really need. You get the 5% pierce damage, which is thrust damage, I believe. I think it's worded weird. And then you spend 10 less stamina to dodge, so you can dodge three times instead of twice. Now, you have a 2% base crit chance with the musket, and you deal 1.3 times the damage for crits, and headshots are crits. Okay, so that's how that's calculated. Now, let's look at all the damage that we get from items and perks. You get 30% damage versus full health, 9%, 40% headshot. I'm not going to read all this. You can pause the video and read this yourself, okay? And then your weapon mastery damage perks are up here. And then after the first shot, these are the buffs that you get. So let's go to the next page so we can break it all down. All right, so this is theory crafting powder burn damage. It's 110% weapon damage. Then you get the 20% weapon damage per second up to 13 seconds. Okay, so if you want, you can read this whole thing here. Um, this is all the damage buffs that we are going to, on the left side here. This right here, where the arrow is pointing, we're going to follow the arrows. This is all the damage buffs, all the buffs you get on your first shot. And then I broke, th this arrow here is breaking it down. Okay, so all in all, we get an 84.3% increased damage. 44% increased headshot damage, 25% crit damage, which is basically the same thing. Okay, guys? So now we do 1.98 times more damage on our headshot. 50% elemental. The, you get a 36.6% burn length increase. So 13 seconds becomes 17.75. Okay. Uh, and then all in all, you have an 18% chance to crit on the body, which is really high for most builds. I think fire staff beats it at like 25. So if you want to like offhand fire staff, the crit, I don't know, man. Like it's, I don't know. And then you're going to have that little bleed damage, which we're going to talk about in the next slide, okay? And then this is your second shot right here. This one on the right, we're following the arrows. So you get 10% from Empower, you gain 2.5% for being a headshot, and these, are still, these will start stacking as you get more headshots, up to 15%. Um, because the, the enemy's debuffed, you deal 5% damage, and then when the enemy's slowed, you deal 10% damage, and then when the enemy's on fire, you deal 12% damage. However, we do lose some damage. We lose 30% because the target is no longer at full HP, and we lose another 10% because it's not full HP. And because we used Shooter Stance, then we gain 22% damage, okay? And then we go down here, and after one headshot, we're going to add all this up, and you deal 105.8% more damage per shot, okay? And then you go over here, and you have four more rapid-fire shots to blast into the enemy's head. Okay, if you get two more headshots, you get one free. You can then shoot, dodge, shoot, because you have that perk. So you're going to just be going pow, 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 dodge, pow. And then you start reloading. Like, and you're doing all this damage. You're doing insane amount of damage because you're a glass cannon. No one's going to survive that. I don't care if they're being healed and buffed by a whole raid. They're dead. This is how you kill tanks in, in wars. This is how you blow up those giant floating skulls in wars. This is how you kill siege equipment incredibly fast before they can even react, okay? You are a laser beam of death with this build, okay? And then when the target is below 30% HP, which <laughs> one, one powder burn is going to do this to the majority of non-tanks, you deal an additional 10% damage. And Powder Burn will still be on them for 2.75 more seconds, so you can just reapply it. And then that reapplication of Powder Burn will deal even more damage, okay? Now, on to the next slide where we talk about theory crafting damage. Now, let's say a shot does 1,000 damage, which I have been able to achieve this amount of damage at level 25. Yes, that's right, level 25. Go get your, go get your faction gun, load it with an Onyx Jewel, get all the perks because you leveled your weapon mastery up, and uh, you're going to be doing over a 1,000 damage headshots. 
Okay, and then powder burns 110%, so 1,110 damage, or 1,100 damage. Now, I, didn't ca I don't know how the powder burn burn is calculated. I don't know if percent damage increases with that. I assume it does, but I did not calculate any of that. I didn't calculate any percent damage. I didn't calculate any headshot damage. I think all I calculated was base damage. So you take 20% weapon damage, which would be 200 if we're doing 1,000, okay? And then you multiply it by 17.75, and then you add the 15% elemental damage boost, and that's 4,082 damage, okay? So you're, you're just a burn is going to do 4,000 damage over 17 seconds, right? And I know 17 seconds is a long time. It gives them time to heal or run away or whatever, right? Okay? But we, we haven't calculated our damage increases for our base 1,000 yet, okay? And so once you do the calculations of adding 84% and then adding the crit, it's 5,492, okay? Um, <laughs> and then the bleed will do 700 damage over 10 or 13 seconds. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be boosted by the, the intelligence perk or not. Anyway, so now your second headshot is going to do 1,000 plus 105 plus 198 or 6,000 damage. <laughs> this is so much. And let me tell you, like... you. At level 60 with a max gear score gun, you're going to do more than 1,000 damage. But I'm calculating the damage at 1,000 because it's achievable at level 25. Though you won't have the weapon masteries and the brilliant, or the, the pristine onyxes and all that stuff. You definitely won't have the perks or 600 gear score. But, <laughs> you, like, it's insane, dude. <laughs> at level 60, you're going to just be blowing people up. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this one-shotted people. Okay. And then this just talks about how you do the rapid fire shots and you land headshots. And uh, all right, now the target's gonna be slowed for five seconds. He's gonna be on fire for 17.75 seconds. He's gonna be bleeding for 10 seconds. You're also really far away from a bush, snipey sniping with your three times zoom perk in a bush. Uh, troll face. All right, so uh, now looking at level 60 PvP footage that I found on YouTube, I see that a 300 dex musketeer is shooting heads for way more than a thousand damage versus full heavy tanks. And he didn't even have, like, half the weapon mastery or perks or items or, or weapon mastery or anything that I've listed. He just, he just had a basic musket, you know, not, not even a good musket, just like a 540 gear score musket, you know. And it wasn't even leveled up. He was just shooting people for fun, you know, just like, ha-ha, ting, ting, ting. And he was doing way more than 1,000 damage to tanks. So, <laughs> um, so our build is going to absolutely melt people, okay? And he wasn't even using powder burn. He was just shooting people because he didn't have it unlocked yet. Anyway, or maybe just didn't choose to use it. So using 1,000 for the calculation, that we're just doing that for the math reasons, okay? Now, other glass cannons, with no constitution at all, because we have no constitution our gear, you're going to have about 6,400 HP. That's your HP. And if you look at our damage here on the left, one shot will kill you. <laughs> one shot and you're done, dude. Like, you're just going to melt and bleed out and... <laughs> It's ridiculous. Uh, and that's, the, you know, versus light armor, you're going to be, like like I said, you're going to be doing way more damage than what's listed here, guys. Okay? Um, but if PvP scaling is back on and you shoot a level 25, this is the damage you can ex be expected to do. Anyway, guys, so you're going to melt siege equipment, you're going to melt heavies, and all from max render distance, you're going to be all the way across the freaking arena shooting... You're basically a World of Warcraft rogue, but with a ranged nuclear weapon, okay? And if this fails, like someone charges you or gets close, you just switch to your intelligence weapon, like Fire Staff or Frost Gauntlets, or the Void Gauntlets when they come out, assuming they're intelligence-based. Or you can swap to your Dex Intelligence Rapier, and you can run away or kill them, or because you're a glass cannon, you can just melt and murder people, okay? <laughs> anyway, so that's the build video. I'm sorry that it's slideshows, you know. Here we go. There's the stats. There's the, the perks, uh, there's the gear explanation, and then there's the, the, the stats and the damage bonuses you'll get, and then here's powder burn theory crafting, and then here's my explanation. So, I'm Soul Benji, thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay soul. I'm sorry that I don't have video game footage of this, but uh, I spent my whole beta trying to learn how to level up faster and all that kind of cool stuff. So go check out those videos, they're really useful, they're really helpful. Also guys, if you wanna help me out, if you leave a like, and a comment. If you do both, it's an algorithm cheat code. It is a YouTube combo. It really, really helps out. And 80% of you aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button. I would like to hit 50,000. It would be so cool. It would be a dream of mine. Uh, to hit 100,000, I think I could actually rent an apartment if I hit 100K. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching this. And uh, if you want to try this build, let me know in the comments if you're going to try it out. I think it's going to take many, many, many months to craft all this stuff. It's going to take so long, and it's 
you know, I'm just happy to have an MMORPG I can grind on and spend all my time playing, okay? And I'm sure you are too, so take care. I make videos every day. I'll see you tomorrow.